Uh, Jamil, when I was told that I would be catching up with you in the Eastern Cape, I was expecting, you know, sprawling lawns of fields and rondavels and, and maize, you know. Ganoko says Lalini. She says Lalini, this is why I'm, I'll actually try to show you out the window and I know we are born and Oh, oh there we it? go. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Does that look a little more familiar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm in now the caravan. Listen, the brilliance that is you. We're so excited to have you on the DSTV showcase purely because of uh, Blood Psalms that everybody is talking about it. It is, you know, it is coined to be the Game of Thrones of Africa. Does that not apply a bit of pressure onto you? I don't know. I, I kind of am blessed with uh, um, the, the ability of, of thriving under pressure. So I'll, I'll take that mantle on if, if they want to call it the, the African Game of Thrones. I think every African child across the planet, wherever uh, the diaspora has taken you, when you watch something like that, you just know that Africa's story is bigger, larger, more impactful. But when you say African storytelling, I put that next to Show Max Original, right? And this is what I get goosebumps just thinking of that. This is what Blood Psalms is. It's a Showmax original. How does it feel being at the forefront of those productions that will ultimately make it to the rest of the world? I'm deeply honored. I mean, um, it, it's something that I've been chasing my entire life. I'm now 41 years old. And uh, oh. at this age, with uh, the tide that has turned in, in terms of kind of where I am with my career, but also in terms of uh, the interest in the work, it's taking quite a while to kind of build a body of work that people would be interested in, in my voice, so to speak. So I'm deeply honored that I've, uh, we've made that partnership with, uh, uh, with Showmax and that we were basically able to, to utilize that platform. You know, this is also a partnership with Canal Plus, which uh, gives us a, an even wider spread, firstly on the continent, which for yeah. me is the primary Yes, of course, we want a global audience. We want this, this, this to travel to America, to travel to Europe, to travel to South America and Asia and such. But fundamentally, we want um, the, the Africans to be able to, 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 to engage the material. So when I look at the partnerships that are around the, the, the production, I'm, I'm very excited. Uh, I don't think many people know this, but you were, you know, the writing and the producing and directing for Knuckle City, which did very well. Uh, I'm going to brag on your behalf. Knuckle City was more than Bad Boys 3 on box office. Okay, you better know. You better recognize. <laughs> Be humbled by that. You growing up in Umdansane made it easy for you to have that backdrop and know exactly which, you know, uh, what tone and texture to bring in. With Blood Storms, mm -hmm. It's all fantasy. So where do you get that info from? Where do you get your departure point when, it, I mean, I saw the trailer. It looks like a lot. I'm a lot. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, you know, as um, as do, as do, as a person of color, as a person mm. who comes from South Africa, as a person who comes from specifically the Eastern Cape, I've, I've, I've been a, on a personal journey for at least the past 25 years of not firstly seeking self, but also seeking history and heritage. Um, you know, growing up, one of the things which I think rings true for a lot of uh, 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 people of color is that the archetypes that were in, in the commercial space, whether it was things that you'd see on television, comic books that you'd read, or any kind of, call it entertainment, it, it, it always um, lacked a fundamental context for black people. Mm. You know, you will, you, you, anything that you kind of consume, even if it said, sorry to name names, Black Panther or da da da, mm. even if mm. it was black exploitation, it always came from the space that it was tailor made fun, or made by uh, mm. a white voice. Mm. And, you know, we talk about that a lot, but what we don't fundamentally talk about enough is that. Um, Western culture, be it from colonization or whenever, what it's managed to do to the world is give the world its archetypes. Mm, mm. These, ar these, these archetypes are the fundamental basis for everything in regards to art, theater, a film, any, any, anything that depicts heroism, if you will. We are purportedly the oldest people on the planet in terms of uh, how long the, the black person has been on the planet, right? I think everybody kind of agrees 
that we all come from that one root. Because what I'm, I'm after is demystifying this myth that we come from loincloths and mud huts. Yeah. That is not our history. No, no, no. That is our refugee Can't status. That. Uh, good luck. I think it's going to be great. It's a Showmax original and here at DSTV and hashtag DSTV showcase. We just say, Kubeka, carry on, carry on. <laughs> Thank you to Showmax and um, Kennel Plus. Thank you so much. Thank you for your time.